Hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Geminis. This is Midas Touch. I hope that all is well with you. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. I would greatly appreciate it. Keep in mind that these are just general messages, so not everything will resonate. Take will resonate and leave what does not. Let us begin. Let's get these cards. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels. What's the energy that surrounds Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November the 11th of 2024? Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Someone is clout hungry. <laughs> Someone is clout hungry. And by clout, meaning someone wants your attention, someone's, someone wants to uh, provoke you, they want to get your reaction. Some of you guys could be well known. You could have a little following or a large following on social media because I am picking up on someone. They want your attention. This is someone that you completely blocked or walked away from. This is someone that you put on ice and they cannot take it. They want to start shit with you. They're very dramatic. They're very diabolical and very mischievous. And speaking of diabolical and mischievous, this person has an offer. They have an olive branch that they want to extend to you, but it is a dirty offer. It's extremely dirty because this is not someone that you want to be tied to anymore. They've showed their hand to you time and time again, and you took the safe route and cutting them out of your life without any drama. However, this person wants to test your gangster. And it's like, why don't people understand to leave the quiet people alone? If a Gemini goes quiet on you, or if a Gemini goes ghost on you without starting any mess, you should leave them alone and you should be very scared. And I'm talking to this person just in case they happen to be watching your sun sign because I am feeling that this person watch your readings. They'll go on YouTube and they watch the reading for Gemini's, but it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, you did the best thing that you can do. You really dodge a bullet with this female and for some of you guys, this is a man. This is a man that has a very catty energy. And I don't want to say he's gay, but he's very feminine. Like he operates in a lot of femininity. And regardless if he's gay or not, that's not the important thing. But he has a very catty energy. Like it's almost, it almost want me to say, is he okay? Like is he um, suffering from mother issues? Because what is going on? But whoever this person is, man or woman, they are in their head. They are overthinking. They're strategizing. And they can't seem to understand if a person stopped talking to you. It's something that you did where they lost all respect for you. Gemini has lost all respect for you, whoever you are. And... It's time that they understand this, you know. This is someone who um, sleeps around. They have multiple lovers and they don't see anything wrong with it. They don't see anything wrong with it until they catch something and then, yeah. And, of course, they are sad. They are upset. They're throwing a little temper tantrum but they'll be all right because they're not even important. They're, they are what I would say, um, in the words of Evelyn Lozana, they are a non-factor. They are a non-factor. And look at this. Underneath the deck, this is the card that is showing up. <laughs> this pretty much sums up their energy. They're broke. <laughs> you used to give a lot to this person, whether it be you used to buy them food, help them pay certain bills, send them money through Cash App. This person's broke as a joke. They don't like to work. They don't like to take accountability. They don't like to be an adult. <laughs> they do not like to be an adult, but we are all adults at this time. But this person refused to grow up. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, please give me some extra messages that surrounds um, 
Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November the 11th. Please give me extra messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. I had to stop for a second. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you have the Seven of Swords card, you have the Eight of Cups card, the Three of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Empress card, and the Two of Cups card. So as far as extra messages for some other energy um, that surrounds you, or this could be the same energy, with the Seven of Swords card, this person is strategizing on ways on how to move quickly. They're thinking quick on how they could come towards you. This person is uh, living in some sort of illusion. It's like this person wants to start something in their life or they want it to be something, but they're very much in an illusion. Like, I don't know if this person wants to start their own business or they always say, yeah, I'm about to start this business, but the business never really gets started. Like they're, they're very delusional about their plans. And I also feel they're delusional about the plan to be back on good graces with you as well. Because you guys have been completely done with this person. I am picking up for someone. You have been done with this person for years. For some of you guys, it could have been several months since you walked away from this person. And they will forever have a hard time letting you go. Even if they feel they have healed from the situation, in the back of their mind, you will always be the one that got away. This doesn't have to be romantic. This could just be a friend. This could just be a relative that you were forced to completely walk away from with the Eight of Cups energy. Yep, they blew it. They blew it. And <laughs> they feel quite abandoned. <laughs> and it's like... How on earth can you feel abandoned at this time when you disappointed Gemini, when you failed Gemini? This person, in a way, they abandoned you first and you just got tired of them not sticking to their promises. You got tired of, you got tired of them thinking that you were some sort of doormat. Hmm. Yep. And I'm also feeling like this person with the three of pinnacles, yeah, they always have someone else that they're dealing with. This is someone that is um, incredibly promiscuous. They always have someone on the side or they sleep around, but now they want to come back and get on one accord with you, but they want to have their cake and eat it too. However, you're not on that energy anymore. I feel that you guys have become stronger since walking away from them. You have took back your power. You have acknowledged how great of a person you are, how great of a woman, how great of a man you are. And you're sitting high in your energy. You're sitting high in your strength. There's really not much this person could say. And... <laughs> I'm picking up on someone calling you and saying, you know what? I miss the old days. And I'm feeling like you as a Gemini saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like the person will feel kind of offended that you're not saying you miss them too. But the truth of the matter, you do not miss them. You guys are just focusing on your wealth. You guys are focusing on your health, your wealth your stability. I am feeling like you guys are focusing on your looks with the Empress card. I do feel for someone, you have a very fertile energy. So this person that wants to get back on good accords with you, this person may be a fire sign, such as a Leo, a Sag, or an Aries. This person, you know what? Now I'm picking up on an energy of someone that did not see your beauty back then. And it's like you guys have blossomed. I don't know if you were not their type back then or if you changed something about your looks. And now they're finding you to be more attractive, which is it's pretty superficial to me because you guys always had a good energy about you back then when you were dealing with this person, but they did not see the beauty in you. So now they want to, you know, extend an olive branch to you. And also 
for those of you who um, were dealing with this person as a friend, now they want to be buddy buddies with you. Now they see the beauty in the friendship. Now they see the significance in having you as a friend. You know what? You were a blessing all around this person and they did not realize how much of a blessing you were. Opportunities would come to this person by you praying for this person to get opportunities. Opportunities would come to this person because you were blessed. And it's like whoever comes in contact with you, they get blessed in some shape or form. I don't know if you have a praying grandmother that used to pray from you or if you were brought up in the church, but people that deal with you, they get blessed. Like you're a blessing to be around Gemini. And this person realized how much of a blessing it was to have your friendship. However, <laughs> you're not even on that. <laughs> you are on to newer and better things with the Page of Wands. If you look at the card, this person is looking to the right. They're not even looking to the left. They're focusing on what is on their path to the right of them. There's no backtracking with you, Gemini. Mm -hmm. You guys are enthusiastic for what else is out there. And you know what? I'm feeling for those of you. Um, see, this message, I'm trying to see if I can word it the proper way. There is someone you want a divine connection. You're tired of fair weather connections. I hope I said it right. Fair weather connections. You're tired of connections that come and go. You're tired of meaningless, meaningless friendships, meaningless relationships. And by you guys working on your confidence, it's helping to raise your vibration and your aura is changing and you're actually attracting, you're attracting someone who will honor you and respect you as a friend or a significant other. That's what you're attracting. I feel to tell you to not focus on when and how to continue to work on your confidence because I'm feeling someone that's going to be having better suitors or better friends that surrounds them with the Ten of Cups energy. And also with the Ten of Cups energy, this is a card about love, harmony, and divine connections. So that's confirmation for someone. I'm going to stop your reading here, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. If it did not resonate, please watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. The video should already be uploaded on my channel. Please also hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.